Hey Capricorn, what is up? I hope you guys are all really well. So welcome to your general love reading for the first half of October 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. This reading is general, so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation. And it also means that the roles can be reversed, even if you are cross-watching. So let's see, Capricorn, what is going on with you in a love connection? for the first half of October 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Also know that I am doing this a little bit differently than usual. I won't be looking at your and your person's energies equally. I will be focusing more on you this time around. So if you would like, you can always um, cross watch for your person's sign and see if that resonates. All right, so let's see. For the situation, we have the world card crossed by the ace of pentacles. Okay, so it feels like something has, it feels like a cycle has been completed or like a phase has concluded and that it's like the ending that we've reached some kind, either some kind of a plateau or like this phase is closed out, like entering a new one. Um, it feels like it's, a little bit of a challenge though, allowing this new path to open up for you. Um, so let's continue, let's see. For the recent past, we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, so recently, yeah, I feel like maybe this is why things concluded in a particular way because it just felt like it was getting too hard. Things were just too challenging and so it's like, yeah, that just kind of led to either like giving up or just, okay, ending this cycle, moving on, to the next. For your consciousness, we have the Six of Swords, Subconscious, the Queen of Wands. In your energy, we have the Death card. Your person's energy, the Sun coming up in the near future, the Ace of Wands, and a message for you is the Knight of Swords. All right, Capricorn. So first of all, we do have Scorpio showing up here. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio. We also have Leo. So you might be dealing with some of these signs. Maybe you have these signs strongly in your chart, although it doesn't have to be. So you're, you're trying to move away from this. You're trying to leave a painful situation in the past. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're doing this because you know that you deserve something better or that there's something either better out there for you or that you just deserve something better. And so you're doing this, I feel like, with a lot of confidence, although it might not always feel that way to you, but it's definitely there. It's definitely there. You're feeling an ending, all right? Um... So I don't know if it's an ending to the connection or just an ending to a particular cycle within the connection. Whoever it is that you're dealing with here, this is somebody who actually feels like you could fulfill them 100%. So I don't know what it is that has happened, but this person is feeling like, you know, you, you could make them happy. They could have this happiness with you. So there is some kind of a new beginning that is coming up, although for a lot of you, this Ace of Wands, it could actually be a reigniting of this connection or of something else. Either way, the message from Spirit here with this Knight of Swords, it's telling you to, yes, move, go, <laughs> do what you're doing, right? Which I feel is this Six of Swords, you know, moving away from this, for now at least. So let's actually clarify, let's see the world card with the ace of pentacles whatever this ending is whatever this conclusion is it's really opening up a door to something new here all right you have two ending cards the world and the death card and then you have two aces which are new beginnings so for the world and the ace of pentacles we have the eight of cups there i mean you're walking away the four of pentacles and the moon, okay, so Pisces also showing up here. Definitely let me know in the comments if you're dealing with any of the signs that I'm calling out or just anything about what your situation is currently. Um, 
you're emotionally detaching from this. You are moving away from this. I get that it is hard because there's a part of you that feels like you just want to hold on. And I do also get that there is a little part of you still holding on because it's almost like there's this like mystery of maybe like a what if, or like, you know, you just don't know exactly where this could go or what could happen. So it's like, yeah, you're letting go, but then you also, you're kind of holding on. I feel like maybe you're just kind of pushing it to the side, like putting it on the shelf for now. And maybe that is the best way to go about it currently. We'll see. Let's see this nine of wands for the recent past. The four of cups and the five of cups. Wow, that's a lot of sadness here. A lot of struggle, a lot of sadness, a lot of disappointment, a lot of grief, a feeling of loss. Um, there was something that really disappointed you here. Something was very, very disappointing and I feel like that's why you're like, you know what, like this is just done, like I can't do this anymore. And this is why you're trying to move away. So I'm even getting that some of you are like physically moving away. So you might be taking a trip or you might be like just moving locations, maybe even changing jobs. Like it, I feel like it's to that extent for for some of you, okay? Obviously not all of you. But there's a lot of um, disappointment here. It could be that this person was ignoring you or just not giving you enough attention. And so that just got to be too much for you. And it feels like that just kind of went on for you know, it, it pushed your threshold. Like, it just went on for <laughs> a bit too long. Let's see the Six of Swords. Death and Temperance. Wow, look at all these major arcana cards that you're getting here, Capricorn. So, this is major. This is something big. Um, this is not... I'm not getting that this is just like, you know a little like fling or you know just a random person you were dating i feel like whoever this is it means a lot to you it's something that has been significant or is significant in some way even if that is just to teach you a lesson um okay so we do have scorpio and sagittarius also showing up now you're you're moving away and trying to have this actually be an ending. Like you you just want to walk away from this. You just want this to be done. You want things to transform. You want your life to be different. And I feel that in doing so, you are actually finding some kind of a balance within your own self. And it does help the healing process. Let's see this Queen of Wands. The Two of Cups and Judgment. You want love, I mean, and that's, that's natural. And I feel like, you know, this is you just making this decision that you want to have love. And this connection with this person, even if love was there, it wasn't providing you with that essence though. It wasn't providing you with that feeling. It wasn't giving you that affection. And so this is actually what is driving you forward. So I'm getting, you know, if that helps you, if focusing on that helps you to move forward and to transition out of this cycle that you were in, then by all means, you know, focus on that, on that you deserve love. And did this connection give you that? Did it provide you with that? If not, then yes. Keep moving forward. Keep moving on. And I do feel like, you know, this is a major decision for you. It's not something easy. But you're doing it and it can only lead you to something positive. Right? With that Ace of Wands there. So, and actually we do have Death out twice. Okay, so that's two times Scorpio. I mean, we have so many signs out. We have two times Scorpio and that's... A lot of ending cards, and I feel like it was um, similar for was it Virgo, Taurus? Like I said, like I've said before, um, elements tend to have like a common theme that happen together. 
So your reading is, it's normal for it to be similar to Taurus and Virgo. Okay, so let's see, death. Why is death here in your energy? The king of swords and strength. Okay, now we also have Leo. Um, you're determined here. I see you being very, very determined to bring about change in your life or to bring about change in this connection. And again, it's not easy. That's why we have the strength card here because you've actually gotten stronger through this. You've actually, this, whatever has happened, all the events that have taken place within this connection, they have built you up, right? Even that nine of wands, that struggle, um, the hurt, the pain, it has all served to give you this experience and to make you more courageous and to make you stronger in terms of seeing what your worth is and realizing how much it is that you do deserve to have love. You do deserve to have something that is going to fulfill you. And so this is why, you know, you're making this decision and I feel like you're sticking to it. You're being very determined to make a change. And so, yeah, there's a very clear ending here. There's a very clear conclusion of some sort. Let's see the sun for the other person. And this could even be a different person, okay? So just take it as it resonates. We have the three of pentacles and the five of wands. Okay, no, I actually feel like it's this person that you're walking away from. Um... This could be somebody who has actually either like kept you in the friend zone, okay, with the Three of Pentacles, um, or it could even be somebody that you have been working with. Either way, this is somebody who, although they feel like they could have this happiness with you, it feels like, yeah, you know, they are kind of keeping things on a more like platonic level. And there, there's a lot of conflict, though, attached to that. They're not happy with that. They're not happy with that decision. They're still doing it. But I, I don't see the details because this is not their reading. This is your reading. Um, but, yeah, this is somebody who is definitely fighting with themselves from the inside. They want happiness. They feel like they can have this with you. But it's almost like they're competing with themselves. Like, no, you know, we got to keep this. I have to keep this at a friend, either a friend level or just a working relationship or something along those lines um, for whatever reason. Let's see the Ace of Wands for what is coming up because that's actually looking quite different than the rest of this reading. And it always surprises me how that happens <laughs> because I feel like that happens actually quite often. So Ace of Wands. Ooh, the Ace of Cups and the Sun. Wow. Capricorn. What a twist. So I don't know if it's this person, um, to be honest with you. I do kind of feel like it is because they have the Sun attached to them and we have the Sun coming up here. There is some kind of a reconnecting here or some kind of a new start in love. Love is showing up in some way or another in the near future and with the sun, I mean, wow. So it could be that this person is trying to reconnect with you, opening up their heart in some way. Um, it definitely could be something new um, for some of you, but with that sun being there, I, I kind of see it like being this person and it's really going to be up to you. Um, but let's see this Knight of Swords. And I don't want to, because <laughs> you're doing such a good job of, of making, of, of moving forward, putting an ending, concluding a cycle. I don't want to get you to, you know, like hang on to this or like come back to this or, or take a step back. So definitely don't, you know, listen to your intuition because again, the message here with the Knight of Swords is to take that action that you've been taking. Okay. And just allow this to play out in whatever way. But there's definitely love showing up for you in the near future. All right, some kind of a new beginning here. It could even be with somebody else from your past, okay? It doesn't have to be this person. So please don't get stuck on that. Um, but let's see, Knight of Swords. 
<laughs> the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, the more that you realize your worth and stand by that and move towards that, like really, really authentically and genuinely recognizing that, the more that you are having that someone coming in here with love, King of Cups, somebody who is um, emotionally mature and able to actually provide that love rather than holding it back from you. So again, I don't know if it's this person, please don't take a step back if you have been moving forward and feeling good about that. Keep moving in that direction. That is the message for you, all right? And there is, there is somebody here, King of Cups. <laughs> King of Cups. All right, Capricorn, let's see. If this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up and let's get the final oracle message for you. And we have clean it up. And I strongly get that this is that things are actually cleaning up, like your life is cleaning up, but that is coming with this change. Whatever this ending is that you are um, putting, into, putting into your life right now. Keep doing that, right? So clean it up, you know, take that as it resonates. Clean up anything that needs to be cleaned up in order for this cycle to be finalized so that you can move on to, on to this new path. All right, Capricorn, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.